Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lecture Soul. If you're new to my channel, I'm a motivational speaker, a psychic medium, a spiritual life coach, and just a spiritual bitch putting everybody on. What I intend to do is to help change your life and to help change the world. So today in this video, guys, this is a video that I've been highly anticipating for the reason that I just think it needs to be said. I think that people need to know or at least be aware of what it is that they can do for the younger generation when it comes to believing in themselves and when it comes to them manifesting everything that they want. Like, trust me, guys, the amount of information that can be put to good use is like there's so many things there's so many things that we know about ourselves that we can bring to the table there's so many things that we have experienced so many things that we have even manifested that we're able to help put the younger generation onto so that they can manifest for themselves as well because when it comes to using the law of assumption or conscious manifesting i'm gonna tell you guys like this is too easy for us to be sitting around and acting like it's difficult or hard like it's not hard it is too easy for us to do there are too many things that we know. There are too many things that we got going on when it comes to using the law of assumption. And I just feel like if we know as much as we do when it comes to this and all this other stuff, then why can't we or why should we not be able to break down the information in a way that is very helpful for the younger generation to understand and in a way that they can actually use it to their advantage? Because I'm sure a lot of y'all have kids whoever's watching this video, maybe some of y'all don't, <laughs> whatever. But even if you have a little sister, a little cousin, if you teach at school, like I don't care what you do, anything that surrounds you being around little children or at least younger people, even if they are teenagers or tweens or whatever, they don't have to just be children. Anyone younger than you or even older than you, okay? This isn't just limit down to just younger people, but the reason I emphasize on the children of the youth within this video is because I know and I've seen and I like, I'm telling y'all, kids are so smart. Okay, I've seen how smart kids can be. I've seen how smart and spiritually aware a lot of children are. Even if some people don't really believe in that kind of awareness in children, do not sleep on them because they are so smart. Like, they know exactly what's going on. They perceive everything, okay? They might not tell you. They might act dumb. They might completely just not know what to do in terms of exposure, speaking up on something, but they perceive things. They know exactly what's going on. They understand and they have their own thoughts. And I'm gonna tell y'all, like, if you know that these kids kids do that they have their own lives as well like they are their own person within themselves even if it seems like it's not a big deal trust me it is a big deal because they are like i said their own person within themselves so them being their own person being able to learn and to grow along with you why wouldn't you take it upon yourself to go out of your way a little bit to just redirect the kids for them to become even more powerful within themselves for them to understand that they can speak things into reality to understand that they can master what they want to master like anything that they want they can definitely manifest and one of the wonderful things about teaching children is that their souls are usually more aware because of their age like they just came onto earth their souls are here they're going through new things in their new bodies on this earth again like things like that they have the ability to pick up on this information a lot easier than you think that they could and trust me, they absolutely can. But okay, with that being said, let's get started with the video because honestly, I already started, so whatever. But with that being said, guys, now that we're in the video, let's get to talking about what it is to put the younger generation on to manifesting, to law of assumption, and I don't care what you call it, but just empowerment within themselves to understand that they can have anything that they want because they can. Just like you as an adult or as a teenager or as a whatever can manifest everything that you want, you best believe that these children can as well. They just need the knowledge, okay? They need someone to help them be aware of that and that's where you step in okay so with that being said like i was saying earlier where these children are able to manifest everything that they want as well as you are them understanding that power within themselves is going to come a lot easier to them because again they're so young in some children's cases there are a lot less things limiting them from being able to believe in themselves in the way that they should there's a lot less things keeping them from dreaming big believing big having big and that's all because they know how to keep things simple they're not overcomplicating what it is that you're telling them they're not sitting there saying but 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 look at all the loopholes and shit they're simply taking on the information of you saying you can do this so do it and then they'll do it because they understand that this is something that is possible but you see like i was saying that's where you step in because oh i'm gonna tell you like parents either make or break a child and that is no joke i'm sure you all have seen it for yourself in your life or even with your own parents for you a lot of the times, these parents low-key don't even know what to say to their kids. They assume that because they can't do what they want to do, that their kids won't be able to either. 
I had to go to school to be successful, so you're gonna have to go to school to be successful too. I got my heart broken when I was 16, so don't date until you're 18. Shit like that. It's like a huge projection that's being put onto these kids that they absorb up. So everything that they've been taught, they're gonna continue on believing that shit because it was taught to them. But if you flip the script a little bit and you make it better for them to understand exactly what it is to be as powerful as they really are, trust me guys, like, oh my goodness, the amount of things that they will end up manifesting is going to end up blowing your mind because not even you thought that they could, but they can and they know it. That is the huge difference between you and them. They know that they can. You know that they can, but you, you're kind of unsure. You're like, mm, I don't really know if they're gonna be, yes, they're gonna be able to, and it's gonna shock you. That is why they need your help. That is why they need to be put onto the information that you know about the law of assumption. But again, maybe not even specifically just the law of assumption, because I do understand that the law of assumption has not rules, but kind of things to understand that might be a little bit difficult for children to verbally understand. But if you explain things in a better and more, I guess you could say child appealing way, it's gonna be really easy for you to actually put them onto it. So for one example, what you can tell your kids when you want to talk about maybe the 3D and the 4D, the 3D being your physical reality and the 4D being the dimension or reality in which everything is manifesting for you before you can physically see it, you can explain it to your kids by saying something like, nothing is real in the 3D. What the 3D is, is everything that is around you. So if you can feel or touch something, it is in the 3D. Feel yourself, you are in the 3D. The 4D is a place in which everything that you want is already there. So if what you want is in the 4D, you have to continue trusting in what you don't see for it to become real in the 3D. You see, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and say like every kid will understand that, but honestly, I feel like that was pretty easy to understand, especially because I've worked with many kids before and also I'm the oldest out of four, including myself. I understand what it's like to talk to children, so you just have to make this easy for your specific child to understand. Every kid is different though, not every kid is gonna understand it exactly how you say it, so you find a way to make it work because there's always a way to make these things work. You can always lightly somehow tell your children about what it is to affirm to themselves, you know, by telling them things like, tell yourself that you're beautiful every day. Tell yourself that you're powerful every day. Tell yourself how confident you are every day. And then you can recite it with them. I am powerful, I am confident, I am beautiful. Repeat these things to yourself every day. Every time you get a chance to sit down and to think, think about how wonderful you are. Think about how powerful you are. Think about how confident you are. Think about how you can have whatever you want. Think about how capable you are. Like all of these things are all gonna be things that will definitely help your child. Trust me, even if you haven't even explained what manifestation the word means, the whole concept can still be understood. You know, like I was telling y'all in quite a few videos before, I was telling y'all about how I used to manifest a lot of things without me even knowing that I was manifesting, you see? I didn't know that I was using the law of assumption for a lot of the stuff that I was manifesting in the past, but I was. And even that right there, like back then, I knew that I had some power. I didn't fully understand the concept, but I understood it from a different perspective. Now I understand it as a whole, how it logically comes to you and the definitions and everything because I'm at a place where I can understand that. But maybe when I was little, I probably may have not been totally able to understand every single thing about the law of assumption. But the whole case in point is that it was still proven to me in some way. I still manifested hella things and your kid will too with your help, trust me. They absolutely will, just like your little sisters, your little brothers, your little cousins, like I was saying before. They all need someone to teach them exactly what it is to be as smart, as capable, and as powerful as they truly are because we do not want to continue on recycling the shit that we were taught. We don't. Like, I'm telling you guys, you knowing this information, you now have a responsibility, and I'm not kidding about that. You do have a responsibility because you can either sit there and continue to repeat the cycles that your parents and your grandparents and your elders, all this other stuff put onto you, all the limiting sadness things that you believed for so long or you could flip the script once and for all for your bloodline for your generation and you can start saying the things that you know actually matter such as you're powerful you're capable you can do this the things that people actually need to know people don't need to know that they can't do this people don't need to know that there's limits people don't need to know that there will be things that will keep you from getting what it is that you want don't bet on it don't hope on it they don't need to know that shit because that shit doesn't have to be true if you don't want it to be true it doesn't have to be true everything here is a perception everything here is all about perspective if you view this world to be something that is abundant it will be abundant for you and do not ever let anyone make you or your child 
or the kid around you believe that you actually have to suffer in order for you to reach the other side, no you don't, that is still a choice. You still have the choice to get up and to manifest the best without hurting yourself because you don't have to hurt yourself in order to be great. You can know what you know right now and still be as great as you are because the power all comes from within you. Like it's all about you still. And it's gonna be all about your child as well because they will understand exactly what it is to be as powerful as you're telling them that they can be. In the past, I have definitely come through to help kids in my life understand what it is to be powerful, okay? I always felt like it was my duty, especially taking care of those children in that time period or whatever the case was that I was doing for the kids. I always felt like it was my responsibility to teach them how to be as powerful as this. You know, I would sit there and I would just tell them that if they wanted to have this, they can have it. They just need to believe in themselves enough. They need to be able to understand that this is it. Like it's not gonna be anything else but this. I just always wanted them to know that there's no limits until they make a limit. So sure, it can be easy to be limited if you allow yourself to be limited, but because you know better now and because you recognize yourself to be as powerful as you truly are, it is now your responsibility to put that same energy into the people that you know need it the most. And even if it's not a kid, okay? Even if it's a parent of yours, even if it's someone who's older than you, like a grandparent or whatever, don't be afraid to put them onto this. I do feel like a lot of older people are very, very open to this as well. Thankfully speaking, I love that a lot. But I also do know and have seen for myself that there's also a lot of people older people who don't really believe in this kind of stuff because of the limits that they were taught their entire lives. So yes, you can still teach whatever generation. You can still do what you gotta do to help, but make sure you're putting your energy most where it needs to be had, which is in the youth, okay? The kids who are going to make a difference, the kids who are gonna be here when you're 50 and these kids are whatever, like, I'm telling you guys, it's only going to get better from here if we allow that as a generation. And even besides that, if you don't wanna go straight up to your kid and be like, this is what it is to manifest, whatever. I mean, you should want to, cause it's really not a crazy thing. Like this is just the way it is. But even if you don't wanna do that, you can always still direct them into a better direction than them thinking that they have to be limited, or that they have to suffer, that they have to go through painful things. You never want your kid to believe that there's more bad than good. That is the biggest mistake that I think I made in my life. I'm not gonna blame myself for that, but it definitely was a mistake at one point for me to believe even at my worst, Worst, where even for a second I would think that the worst rules all you know you never want to be the person to put these kids onto that because that's not true either I don't believe in that I don't believe that bad wins over good I believe that good wins infinitely over bad always always and if you believe that as well then you will believe exactly what it is to be able to put your kids onto something like this that is so helpful so unbelievably useful and something that is so unbelievably impactful in such a great way but you are the one that it needs to start with like I said it is your responsibility now so you better carry that and take care of that because I'm watching you bitch okay I'm manifesting that you teach your kids you teach everyone around you including the elders what it is to be as great as you know that they can be because they absolutely can be as amazing as this that whatever they can be everything but they need to know that themselves okay so with that being said my love that's basically it for my video today thank y'all so much for watching this video I really truly appreciate it thank you guys so much for everything and thank you truly for watching because I am so serious within this video guys like the reason I felt like I needed to make this video is because although I'm not a mother, I really, really, really do not like to see younger children believe in the worst because I have seen that. Like, it is not good. It is not a good energy. It makes me really upset, actually. When I see a child talk down on themselves, talk bad about themselves, or even perceive things to be shitty. And truth be told, as of right now, I've seen more of that than the opposite. I've seen more kids put themselves down than bring themselves up and be more powerful. I've seen that because of the limiting beliefs that are surrounding surrounding them. But you know what? We're not going to manifest that shit any longer because we don't want that shit. We want kids to understand exactly how great they are, how powerful they are, how they can manifest everything that they want. That's what we really, really want. So we're going to focus on that. And it's not any of their faults either. Whether it's good or bad, it's not their fault. It's not their fault that they were fed some lie or whatever else that the kid didn't need to know. It's not their fault. But now that we understand that they do have the power to understand these things or at least to make something greater happen for themselves, that's where we can apply ourselves to actually maneuver them in that direction. You get me? Like, we got to be the person to, nope, not that way, this way. Yeah, okay. That's where we're going. To the right, bitch. Yes, we are. Like, nowhere else but right, okay? So with that being said, I intend that this video helped you to the most of its ability and I know that it did because guys okay guys if you have a child in your life or you just had a kid or you've had a kid for eight years or a kid for 14 years please stop thinking that it is the end when it comes to them being as positive as they can be 
because as well as everything else, all of the limits being put onto some of these kids, one of the other biggest things that I see is that parents or caregivers tend to give up on that kid being or thinking better, okay? I've seen that a lot as well. Because something else that I have seen a lot of and that I've known for a very long time has been going on is that, let's say for example that a 14 year old boy has been thinking the worst for quite a few years now, okay? His father was an awful influence on him. He kept telling him how he couldn't get what he wanted, how he couldn't be great, how he couldn't be powerful, all this stuff. That kid right there is now invoked in the energy of I can't do this, I'm not gonna do this, it's probably not gonna happen, etc. okay? Now upon that happening and upon the 14 year old believing in all those limiting things, now the parent or caregiver or whoever that actually wants to help this kid be different and to think differently, to not be so pessimistic, they're gonna try to come up to that kid and to tell them that they can be great, that they can do what they wanna do, that they are limitless actually, all the wonderful things, and then that kid is gonna be like, okay, no I'm not, like I can't do this. I am limited, I'm not powerful enough, whatever, whatever. And then they'll end up dismissing everything that you're saying because they will assume that you're incorrect and that their father was right. Okay, that right there, that is still something. When you see that happening, it is not your shot to give up. That is not your chance for you to be like, oh, well, he's never gonna change, so what? That is your fucking chance for you to get up and to continue on implementing the good image that this kid needs, that you know that they need, okay? You want them to be a master manifester and you want them to believe in themselves. So why are you giving up because it seems like they're never gonna budge? Bitch, they're gonna budge with your help and your permission, like literally because of you. Just like that kid's father was so confident in his shitty beliefs that he made his own kid believe something that was so untrue, what makes you think that you cannot help this kid move his mind back around for him to understand and believe in something that is actually true, such as being limitless, being in control, being in power, being everything that this kid should be? You have to understand, you just have to understand that you do have that power to make that difference, so please don't give up. I've dealt with in my own cases a lot of times where I had to take care of children who were like, no offense, but the mindsets were not there. And I'm talking young children, children under 10 who just, they couldn't be positive because every time they tried to be, they were shot down type shit. I had to sit there, not had to, I wanted to sit there and I taught these kids exactly what it was to be powerful, to teach them everything that they know that they should be knowing. Like, hello, if I'm a master manifester, what makes you think that I'm not gonna be sitting here teaching everybody else what it is to be a master manifester? This is not just about me. This is not just about my age group. This is not just about the people who know about this. This is for everybody, every single buddy. As a side note, this is also why I'm so stubborn about teaching this kind of stuff. It's because even the most limited people, limited people in this world who are so negative about being as in control as this, I don't believe that that is the end result. I, hell no, I don't. I don't believe in that. I believe that there's always something better waiting on the other side, but that that person has to be open enough to understand that. And that is also why I literally will not stop until I've known that I've helped a mass amount of people, not even just the people watching this video. I'm talking about billions. Like I want the whole fucking world to change in a great way and I know that it will happen. Just know that no matter what it is though, you are the person and you will be the person to make that positive and wonderful change on the youth. Please continue on doing what you're doing for them. Please continue on feeding them positive affirmations. Teach them about having and maintaining a positive mindset slash state. Teach them about what it is to visualize, to script, and if they're too young to script, how to draw out their manifestations. Like literally, there are an abundant amount of ways for this to work out. So if you're trying to make an excuse to say, you can't do it or there's no way, you're fucking lying. You're not trying to do what you gotta do, but you gotta do it now. So you're gonna do it and that's final. All right, my love. All right, perfect. Okay, so now that we're all on the same page, thank you all so much again for watching my video today. Guys, like it means the world to me. Please don't be afraid to share this video with people or parents or whoever you feel like needs to see this because best believe that we need to have our best intentions set out for the youth of this generation. We only need to get better and better and better okay literally only better and better but that's the only kind of expectation that i have and that is exactly what i'm going to see be reflected because i have already started to see that and that makes me happy beyond words now we're gonna do this shit okay yes we are yes the fuck we are and if there's even a kid that comes up to you in the waiting room that says i can't do this you're gonna be like yeah you can babe yeah you can okay it doesn't matter who it is just put them on put them on I've never been trying to do that. And like I said, I don't have kids. So whatever kid comes in my direction, you're gonna learn for a second and that's absolutely final and that's it. But all right, my love, again, thank y'all so much again for watching my video. I will see y'all this Monday for another video. Thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys. May God bless you all always and please take care everybody.
and remember exactly what it is that I've been saying the entire video. You have a responsibility now. You are a parent to no kid, but to every kid because you are that bitch. You know who you are. You know exactly what you got going on. So you need to be the one to also let these kids understand exactly what it is to be that bitch, to be the ones who are getting everything that they want, who are the most empowered, everything that you know that you are, put them onto it so that they know it as well. And they will know it, believe me, they will know it. They just need a little bit of help, a little bit of a reminder, a little bit of a consistent push. And if you really, really, really wanna get this done, which I know that you will because it is already done, all the kids understand, of course they do, yes they do. Start affirming that they get it. Start affirming that the kids are so smart. They understand everything about manifestation. They understand exactly what it is to be powerful, to be limitless. They know what it is to block out the noise. They know what it is to rise up. They know what it is, period. Of course they do. Trust me, I'm not settling for a generation who don't know. Like, I am not fucking settling. This right here is a duty I'm taking. So consider that shit taken because damn it sinks in here with only the best power in the world. And that's absolutely final. All right, implement nothing but the best and continue on showing them what it is to be as confident as you are. That power is meant to be shared. Share that bitch. You got it. And that's it. Bye, baby girl. You're gonna be the baby girl that's gonna put the real baby girls onto what it is that you know because you know that you wanna manifest something better, something real good. And it all starts with the generation right below us, the ones who are coming into this world, the ones who are doing what it is that they gotta do, all that stuff. And for those who don't know, I am 22 years old, okay? So my generation has officially grown up, you know, we're in our 20s now. Now the generation that matters are the kids who are born within the last 10 years, within the last 15 years, within the last even 20 years, okay? Even kids around my age, even kids older than me, okay? Everyone can be a kid if you allow them to be, it's all about energy. But with that youthful and positive energy, you gotta be putting it to the best energy, putting it to the best intentions, putting it to the best period, because you want the best and you wanna make sure that you're teaching the best because everyone deserves to know what it is to be the best. And that especially includes those children that you're having, the children that are in your life, the children period, like we gotta put everybody on. This is not a joke, this is not a joke. And do not sleep, like I was saying, do not sleep on your kid being able to understand something like this. Believe me, they will. And with your consistent repetition of teaching them exactly what it is to be put onto this, they're gonna be soaking that shit up like a sham wow or whatever the fuck it's called. But do know they're gonna be soaking it the hell up. So that's where you come through. Come through for them. They need you. Believe me, they need you. It doesn't matter who you are, parent or not. Be wise about this because what you do could either make or break what is coming. Trust me, it all begins with us. So serious, so serious. So with that being said, I believe in you. I trust in you. I know that you can do this and that you will. And if you were not influenced enough before to do this, let this video be the one to influence you to understand exactly how important this is and to be the one to influence you to actually make that difference. I know that you will do this. So please continue on going strong, continue on applying and continue on helping. It is your responsibility now, okay? With great power comes great responsibility. That's right, Stanley, absolutely. All right, my love. God bless you all always. Y'all got this. Just like that, yes we do. And the kids do too, don't forget it.